First year computer science students, listen up, bro. You guys are the luckiest people out there. You guys got all the resources out there. Make sure you watch this video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the hot topics that are going to come up in your 2024 exam. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And be sure to share it with everyone. And yeah, disclaimer, obviously, you have to revise every single topic thoroughly and learn all the basics. This is something that you, you should be doing already. However, these topics that I'm going to say, you need to devote at least 10% extra so that you can, when it does come up, you're going to be there like, ha I already know this because I watched this video. You, you won't be caught off guard basically. And enough of the yap and let's get straight into the spicy topic. So topic number one, 1 1.1. This is your CPUs and registers. So the hot topic that, that, that will come up is your registers. So often students confused between like what is MDR, MAR, They're always confused and in my opinion although you're not supposed to know how it works in the FDE cycle like how the registers relate I find that knowing how the registers are related during the FDE cycle better understand what the purpose of the registers are 1.1 that's a fairly straightforward topic 1.2 is now what we're going to be talking about is a massive topic as you know you should know every single thing about 1.2 yeah you have to know everything however if i were to pick the top two hottest topics that is most likely to come up it would be how sound is converted into digital form so make sure you know your keywords like sample rate um frequency you know how to calculate the file size remember that that is sample rate multiplied by duration times by bit depth so make sure you know these key formulas and um, when it does come up you'll be glad that you subscribe to this channel so make sure you know your sound that's the first topic i'm saying is is a hot topic so make sure you focus 10 percent on that also another topic is the difference between primary storage and secondary storage so most students don't know what is actually held in the primary storage so for example like if you have a tv running what is stored in the ram for example students often even though if it's like a two mark or a three mark of people students like they just skip it for no reason so make sure you're well equipped and you know what is stored in the ram what is stored in the secondary storages, why they're needed. It's a, it's a good topic for OCR to ask. So these are the two topics, everything related to sound and the difference between primary storage and secondary storage and everything that's linked to it. So this is 1.2. Now let's move on to 1.3, which is your networks. With 1.3, I would say um, know your network hardware this is something that is gonna come up how many of you can tell me what three things routers do i mean not a lot of people can answer that from my experience so make sure you know your hardware inside out know what your wireless access point is know what your nic is network interface card make sure you know your transmission media so copper wire fiber optic and how it's affected how that affects network performance all of that you should know. The third one, a bonus one, is your star and mesh uh, topologies. That is very likely to come up. Now, enough of 1.3, let's move on to 1.4, which is your threats, which is actually a short topic, which shouldn't take you much long to uh, revise all of it. So I'd say revise all of it. I mean, they can, because it's linked, like the first part is learning the threats and the second part is to learn how to actually combat threats although i would say the threats they might um, include are sqo injection uh, ddos attacks so make sure you know those attacks very well and you know how to combat these issues moving swiftly on to 1.5 i would say a hot topic is memory management make sure you know what the purpose of memory management is and how it can relate to multitasking how does it allow um, how does memory management allow um, multitasking that's a very spicy topic that could come up and 1.6 is pretty standard you're always going to have a essay and a few questions on open source or proprietary source so make sure you know the difference between open source and proprietary and on the essay question this year there's going to be a more focus on the cultural aspects the ethical aspects and the environmental aspects um, in whatever scenario they give so yeah make sure you know your cultural sides 
and um, ethical issues. Also, with ethical, you can also link in um, data protection acts and all of that. So make sure you know that. So the main key takeaways is make sure you revise everything thoroughly. However, spend more time on the topics that I've said. Some things are pretty standard, no pun intended. What I mean by this is, for example, in 1.3, you might always get a question that is a protocol question. And also in 1.2, you will definitely get a question on converting between hexadecimal denary and all that. So these, these ones you should already know by now. The ones that I'm telling you to focus on are the ones that you require extra effort into learning. So yeah, make sure you learn these topics in detail so that you're not caught off guard when it actually does come up and say, oh, well, no one told me to revise that. Well, I'm telling you now, and yeah, this is for you guys. And yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know if you want another one for uh, paper two. I want everyone to do well in the exams. I'll see you in the next one.